a ghost in the RV? Is it possible? We're going to find out right now. Hey there, how are you? Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Welcome back to another episode. I really appreciate you. If you're not a subscriber yet, please make sure you click subscribe and um, enable your notifications so whenever, whenever I put another video out about RVing or life or anything, you will get notified. So um, hope you're doing well. I miss you. It's been a little while since I um, put a video up, but um, I got a very interesting letter. I, I should say email from a couple who asked me a question that I've never heard before, never been asked before. I don't know if anybody on any kind of RV channel has ever really talked about this. I'm not sure, but um, I don't have it right in front of me, but I'm going to go from memory as best as I can. It's not that complex, so I think I can pretty much go by memory pretty well here. It's from a um, Nancy and an Eddie. They are RVers. They've got a class CRV. Um, I don't remember if they told me what type it was. It doesn't really matter, but they said they were running the generator a short time ago, a few weeks ago, and ever since, and it, it, it had been a while since they ran the generator. And ever since running the generator, they've noticed some type of a, like a spirit or a, 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 for lack of a better term, some type of a ghost in their RV. And they wanted to know from the RV dummy if there's any way at all the generator could have um, unleashed or released some type of a spirit or a ghost. So I'm going to answer that question right now. And my answer is, I don't know. I, I'm i not sure. Now, first of all, I want to back up for a second. There's no such thing as a stupid question or a crazy question. And when we as human beings think that we understand everything and science says this is true and science says this has to be false and when we get to that point, that's pretty dangerous. I think there is a lot that we don't understand at this point. Just like a hundred years ago, we've learned. Think about how much the human race, our brains, and we've learned in the last hundred years or two hundred years. A ton. Um, a lot of the theories that we had about the Earth and about all different types of things um, years ago. Have, don't hold up today. Just like we'd be stupid to think that everything we believe in today is going to hold up forever. No, we're going to find out more things. So I would never say anybody is crazy or stupid for believing in what they may believe in or what they may not believe in. Um, but I will also say nobody has the definite answer. I don't care what science proves at this particular point in time. It does not matter because there is so much, so much about this universe that we just don't know. So getting back to the basic question, is it possible there's some type of a ghost or a spirit or something in somebody's RV? I would say it's absolutely possible. Um, was it living inside of the generator at some point and then releasing the energy from the generator, brought it into the RV or outside. Some, it's, it's possible. They didn't go into details as, as to like what type of presence they, they felt or saw or um, anything like that. But they just um, pretty much feel that there is something else living in their RV besides them. Is it something that I would be worried about or scared about? I don't think so. No, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. I mean, it is very possible that there's another living spirit in the RV or maybe more than one. Um, and as long as this spirit is not causing problems, um, take it along for the ride, have some fun. Um, I've never really I'm I'm not so sure that I've actually experienced a ghost or anything like that. Um a few weeks ago I was home in bed totally alone. Yoko was out somewhere. It was more than a few weeks ago because it was before the social distancing thing, so it was a while ago. Um 
it was early evening. I was, I was just, I just went to bed. Um, I, our cat was right next to me in bed. There was nobody else in the house. And I heard this really weird sound of something like falling in the house, like a loud no something falling. But when I looked around the house, I couldn't find anything that fell. Everything was in its place. I looked in all the usual places that something may have fallen. Did, did the cat move something on the table before and it was not real stable and then it finally moved or fell? I couldn't find anything. And I, I actually thought that maybe we're renting a home that is over 100 years old. I thought, yeah, there, it's very possible that there could be ghosts in here from some time hundred years or even before. It's very possible. Um, and I believe this, I believe that's what I possibly heard. Um, up until the time Yoko got home and then that maybe a, a day or two later, maybe then maybe that evening or maybe the next day, <laughs> I told her the story as she told me, she looked in our shower and the um, shower head the shower head had come loose and fallen and making like this tremendous crashing sound on the floor of the shower. Now I didn't think to look in the shower because like what's going to fall in the shower. I did when I was looking around the whole house, I was looking, you know, in the kitchen at tables and, um, you know, things on shelves that would have fallen, but I didn't think to look in the shower. So that's what our ghost was. It was some, it was a shower head that made a big, big boom sound. It was, it was scary. And for maybe, for several hours, I was convinced there was a ghost in the house. I wasn't scared. Um, I know people that have seen ghosts, that have felt ghosts, and they've always had, like I think, mostly positive experiences. Again, that's not to say that I believe or don't believe. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Um, God, if I knew all the answers to everything, well, first of all, I wouldn't be the RV dummy. And second of all, I probably wouldn't, if I knew the answer to everything, I probably just wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I'd probably be doing something else that could help people with answers to every single thing. So I don't have all the answers. No, I don't. Um, there's a lot we don't know. It really irks me when I give somebody an opinion on something that I believe and that person shoots back at me really quickly. Well, science proves you wrong. And I'm thinking like, well, yeah, but maybe... If I had the same conversation with you a hundred years ago, somebody could have said science proves this wrong, but then what we learn about science ch totally changes. So I don't think there's any point in time where, where science is like an absolute definite never changing. Science probably won't change, but what we learn about it and um, what we under how we understand it, that part changes. It's getting a little deep. Maybe it's too philosophical. Um, so I don't know. We're just, I'm sitting here hanging out, loving, loving, loving my Class B Pleasureway RV here. Um, Yoko and I are actually looking into places. We want to take a, we want to take a, um, a couple trips. Uh, we're in, we're in the Salt Lake City, Utah area, if you haven't been following me for a while. And um, we, we're ready to take a few local trips to some, if so there's some local places that are, open we're going to go ahead and check it out we've been everybody's been um quarantined social distancing for quite some time and we're ready to go ahead and take this baby on the road a little bit and still maintain distance that's the good thing about an rv because we can maintain a distance now if there's a ghost here or in nancy and eddie's rig you got to make sure you social distance from the ghost don't get more than six feet closer to the goat uh, the goat, to the ghost. Did I say goat? What is my mind thinking? To Goat. Did I say goat all along or did I just make that one mistake? I don't know. I'm not sure if I said goat, but I meant ghost. Maybe there's a ghost in here that's making me say goat because he or she doesn't want me to say ghost because he's not really a ghost. He's some type of a spirit. I don't know. I wish I had more answers, but I don't. So if you want to stick with me on the channel and get my opinions and my 
rantings and maybe musings sometimes, that's good. But if you are looking for absolute, definite, 100% answers because I am positive this is the answer, then no, I don't really know. And I'm one of the things I've learned in my life is that it's okay to say, I'm not sure. I don't really have the answer to that. I'm, I'm not positive. I'll try to find out. Too many people think that they know everything. They know it all. And when they don't know something, they'll, they'll make it up. So they'll make up an answer too. That's, that's dangerous. That's why I call myself the RV dummy. And even in life, as much as I maybe have accomplished and not accomplished, I'm still a student of life. I'm still learning. I'm learning every single day something new. That's what it's all about. Learning, enjoying, helping others, being happy. And happiness, you know, in, um, those of you that are Beatles fans, I've been like a long, long, long time Beatle fan, Beatles fan. Happiness is a warm gun. Well, happiness, you know, the, the song... Happiness is a worm gun. Of course, you know that song. Of course, if you don't know that song, shame on you. <laughs> but happiness, happiness is a Class B RV. That's happiness. I've got a little house on wheels. It's a little house on wheels, and it's a lot of fun. Till next time. The RV dummy. See you later.